-hmm. when I met Sam, it was before he went to Vietnam. And the Sam that I fell in love with did not come back. He didn't come back. He, he was a totally different, different man. Next thing I know, I'm in my house, uh, you know, just wondering what the hell had happened. I had no earthly idea what he had gone through. No earthly idea. Everybody who returns from a war zone is affected in some way. You may not be affected to the point of having clinically diagnosed PTSD, but you've been impacted to the point where um, you look at life differently, you've had experiences that the average citizen has never had, um, yet you're expected to assimilate back into the current culture as if your wartime experiences never happened. Moral injury is not just guilt, it's, a, it's another thing. It's a much more pervasive sense that one can no longer live with oneself because of what they have done or experienced, and that the world doesn't make sense anymore. You become a monster. You have real difficulty living with yourself. That's why there is such a high level that kill themselves because of moral injury. You've dirtied your soul, in essence. You come back home feeling like you're a murderer. You can't be accepted in common society anymore. Across cultures and across different times in history, warriors could not go right back into society as if nothing had happened. And they have to do a particular process a ritual, spiritual process, so they could be reintegrated with the rest of their tribe. Not to have any process that helps veterans to reintegrate themselves in society and society to welcome back the veterans is very dangerous. Until you start looking at basic training as the way the whole concept of killing is implemented and start working at ways to reverse that training, it's really difficult to have any significant impact on military suicide rates. actuality, you, you are broken. You've done things that you probably shouldn't have done, seen things that you probably shouldn't have seen. If they can engineer me one way to fulfill this job, that means we can also reverse engineer you the other way. It's totally possible to do. Try to commit suicide three times. I had to, man. What else was I going to do? The, pa the pain needed to go away. I want to put the pills and the drugs aside, and I want to be able to feel my feelings. I want to be able to connect with other people. There are plenty of people that are be out there to listen to you. And they're there to help you through your process and your healing. A necessary part of going to war is being welcomed back by the community. The women the children, the old men that have gone to war previously. That's what makes a difference. So I did this on you. Be my pleasure. Deserve it. This is where I was. Al Kut, Al and Baghdad. Now I'm home. They 
got to be initiated back into the community and love for what they just went through. Appreciated and honored, and without it, it's, it's undone, it's not finished yet. I know that there's other men out there that, and women that have gone, that are going through something terrible in their minds and in their lives. There's help, just like Sam got it. Just like Sam got it out of the weekend. He, there's, there's, there's hope. With these 